Can I ask um, a related question about the status of WSSC's contract with HomeServe? When that ends? Does anybody know? I know it's off topic, but I don't see you all often enough. I neglected to mention that our Chief of Customer Service is here today, Crystal Knightley, and I would turn to her to respond to HomeServe questions. Good morning again, Crystal Knightley, Chief of Customer Service. The contract is a two-year contract. It's due to expire um, next May, so it's a two-year with an option for a renewal. One more year, and they can send out solicitation as often as they like under the contract during they, the term of it? They can. Customers can opt out also. Sure, right, but there's no restrictions on home serve in their marketing. Right, they can do whatever they want under the contract, presumably, right? Tom's nodding. Um, I'm just checking. Um, I mean, there's been a fair amount of attention to this, as you know. Um, I received another solicitation last week. Some of my constituents did. I got questions about that. I mean, you know this is a company that, um, you know, D.C. Waters rejected a possible partnership with them. They've been fined by the Attorney General. They have uh, been under investigation and signed agreements with AGs and other investigators in five other states. Um, and they're, you know, these kind of repair companies are not regulated like insurance companies are. And our own uh, highly regarded Office of Consumer Protection downstairs has warned um, our ratepayers at engaging um, in a contract with HomeServe. Um, so I just, I don't, I don't personally, this might be necessary for some people that might have, um, you know, particularly vulnerable pipes or particularly bad homeowners insurance or whatever, but um, I do think anybody, any of our ratepayers that are listening ought, would be well advised to talk to our Office of Consumer Protection um, and their own insurers before, um, you know, engaging in a contract with HomeServe. And I, personally, I don't think it's a great, you know, look for WSSC, so I'm not sure I'd recommend you renew the contract, you know, when it's up in May. Understood. I would like to just say that we did this in the best interest of the customers. We often get phone calls from customers who, after they've experienced a leak on property, are expecting us to help pay for that or help, you know, fund mm -hmm. the issue. So we saw this as an opportunity with an option for customers if they were interested um, in protecting their pipes. Right, and there's other companies out there, and, and there's homeowners, you know, um, protection, you know, as well that can be, in, in many cases, extended to cover some of this. But anyway, but just back to the budget. Um, I okay. on that point, can I just sure. chim in, if you don't mind? Um, it's very confusing. Homeowners think you're recommending it. Right, because um, your logo's on there. That is yeah, true. Yeah. Um, uh, I think it's a mistaken effort. I mean, you 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 can say we have we maintain a list of of possible contractors for you to contact if you need it. But it makes it seem as if it's required. Um, well, and, and also that you p picked a winner in this space. There's other companies. All those things. But uh, but WSSC should not be, you know, I, you may try and be, I, I appreciate that, the issue. But it seems like it's required, that you're, it's sort of a requirement of the bill. I mean, I've seen a lot of conversation about all, everyone I've ever, uh, talked to about it, including my husband, had no idea what this meant and seemed to think that that you were asking us to uh, acquire this, you know, and uh, that this is a problem for WSSC. And if they screw up, of course, it's on you. So I would urge you to um, back off. Ms. Reed? Well, many times um, we, ha we have actually, as Crystal said, heard from several customers who have difficulty paying for this expense when it hits them. It's unexpected. Um, some people don't budget for it. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you could say, we talk to us, or feel free to contact us for advice on how to deal with a leak of this nature or yes. something like that. But pushing one particular program, I think, is problematic. Okay, but, but we do say it's optional, and if we can expand on how we express that it is an optional choice for our customers, the only intention was to make sure customers have a choice um, and that they know what those choices are. So perhaps um, in some of our future correspondence with customers, we make it um, a lot more clear that there are several options, including plumbers. Um, we, put, we post the plumbers' uh, names on our reps, website as well. 
I think choice is a good word because when you just get the mailing from this third party company that has WSSC's logo on it, it very much looks like WSSC endorses this company and wants me to take out this, uh, this repair plan. And this is a company that, I mean, you can appreciate the awkwardness. Not only, um, you know, we have our Attorney General of the State of Maryland, highly regarded in Montgomery County especially, saying this is a company that's guilty of illegal practices and our Office of Consumer Protection saying the same thing downstairs. It puts us in a pretty awkward position. So I, how I, did you pick these guys? Yeah. How, how we, is it that there we, weren't red flags about this company? Because they corrected the things that were in the Attorney General's report. They were a company that Baltimore City uses and had great success with them, and we wrote the contract, which is a typical uh, government practice to ride existing contracts with other government agencies. So that's how we came to pick them, as well as knowing that our customers getting calls from them when they have these unexpected leaks are looking for ways to economically deal with them. How much is the contract worth to WSSC? WSSC doesn't get any residual benefit or it, it's you just get a any choice. any payment from home service? No. And the reason why you we just chose to use give up your You give up your rate payer list. You are paying so, for their postage. No, well, we, no, no we're not. In the bill. So, well, there have there are separate correspondences. Uh, maybe the initial one was in our bill, but not any subsequent um, notices. Um, and we put our logo on it so our customers wouldn't be confused. That it would it wasn't a hoax that you know this company out of the blue came up and decided that they were going to say that we um, were offering this as a choice or an option. That's the reason why people use put multiple logos on things when they partner with people. So that was the reason why we did it. So that's that's a double edge. Uh, you could sometimes say that it's clear that you are working with them. When then, uh, on the other hand, it could have been just as confusing if we did not include our logo. But for the record, because I've been asked this, WSAC isn't getting money from home No, we are not getting money. But you're sharing your ratepayer list for their marketing. Yes. Well, WSAC is getting some, uh, HomeServe is covering some low-income customers, though. Yes, the, yes, with the same um, criteria that the CAP program uses to cover the uh, uh, account maintenance fee and the infrastructure investment fee, there is a, a fund that HomeServe will also, it's called uh, HomeServe Cares. Home Serve Cares. Uh, but that's not money that comes back to WSSC. It's money that goes directly to customers who cannot afford and meet the same criteria as our CAP program. Right, sort of parallel. Part of the difficulty is it, it, it's, it's a very unusual occurrence to have this happen to you. Right. But when it happens, it's very disruptive and very expensive. And unfortunately, most people assume, not, un, not, un, you know, not unreasonably, that it's WSSC's responsibility to repair the pipe all the way up to the home. In fact, it's not up to the home. It's up to the property line. So you have this information gap. You have an unusual... Um, uh, but expensive insurance type situation and there's no perfect answer. I don't think, uh, certainly I don't think WCC wants to take over that element of maintenance because that would be a, a major liability on their part. Uh, so you have this issue of uh, whether, what's the best way for a third party to cover that um, and I don't think there's a perfect answer there. Can I make a suggestion? Um, I, I appreciate the the, the need for greater public education of your ratepayers, of the risk that they're bearing, that most people aren't aware of um, if they don't have a repair plan in place or if their homeowner's insurance doesn't cover this very rare occurrence, right? Um, you already send out bills. Um, there are inserts in bills all the time that don't cost you any additional money. It seems like it would be a very low-cost item to just prepare an insert that says, here are a list of certified plumbers certified by the Maryland Department of Labor Licensing and Regulation. Here are multiple repair plan companies that offer coverage of this occurrence um, of repair in this case and, you know, choose any of these. Um, and that you could do that probably notwithstanding your current contract with HomeServe just to make sure people are aware of the risk that they bear and the services that are out there without picking one company that's been paying fines to our attorney general um, in this industry. That, that sounds like something that we can do and we will do. 
Um, I do want to footnote this conversation by saying that we have weekly calls with HomeServe to ensure um, how uh, the customer service is where it needs to be or if there are any issues, we discuss them before they get too far out, so it's a weekly call. And the customer satisfaction rate to date has been 97% satisfaction. So the complaints of the past are the complaints of the past. I recognize and respect them, but in the future context, it shows that this is a service that customers like, the ones who have it and um, are quite satisfied with it. Just, just to be clear, no, I appreciate that, and I uh, will take your word, you, you know, WSEC has done its due diligence, um, and the home serve has addressed some of its questionable previous practices, um, but the not denominator in that um, figure of 97% customer satisfaction, though that includes everyone who has taken out a contract and just not complained about it, right? It's not the cohort of people who had an occurrence and then are rating home service home serve on their their quick you know ability to address the problem right yes and, th and that's how all satisfaction rates go sure you don't know sure but in this case this is a very rare it's not like a I don't know, rental car company or something this is a very rare occurrence so most people don't have anything to worry about maybe this gives them some peace of mind but they may be taking out a repair plan that they you know they wouldn't have ever needed so anyway it's we, we should t we should take you know a, I would just think a 97% rating like that with a little appropriate grain of salt given the rareness of this occurrence. 